gonna feel the love now. <laughs> uh huh. Took his heart out. Hey, yo, you hear from Rob lately? Not since the day after the audition. He's been in hiding ever since. He thinks the cops are after him. Yeah, that tends to happen when you take a baseball bat to someone's knee, let alone Kevin Hart. <laughs> I told the brother to give you a leg up in competition, not to take one out. Well, you know Rob, he always know how to take things a little too far. Yeah, that brother's committed. Hey, but I wouldn't let nobody take this role from me. Kevin's still mad at me right now. His team wanted him to cancel his comedy tour, but he wouldn't let that happen. Now he's out there selling out stadiums, performing in a wheelchair. What? Man, you can't hate the short man hustle. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, so uh, when are you supposed to hear back? They said sometime today. But dude, I'm telling you, after all we did, if I don't get that role. Oh, <laughs> calm down, Bernard. We ain't on the wire no more. You'll get that role, man. I mean, Eddie. <laughs> Is my manager calling me now? What? Well, pick it up. I'm kind of nervous, though, man. Man, pick up the phone before I chop you on the neck. Hey, Chris. Yeah, mm hmm. Yeah, mm hmm. Okay. Thanks. All right, talk to you later. So, uh, what'd they say? That I got the pot dog! Yeah, you be <laughs> faking, son! <laughs> Congratulations, brother! Oh, yeah, oh. My brother gonna be portraying Eddie Murphy, get it? <laughs> Thank you, man. I couldn't have done this without you and Rob, of course. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> nah, man. But now, you're on your own, Eddie. Wow. What? I mean, now that I got the role, that mean I gotta do a great job. I gotta bring it. Yeah. And I know just how. You're not gonna ask me how? How? By becoming Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to work on that laugh though, bro. That was terrible. Man, whatever. Let's finish playing this game. Oh, oh, you starting without me, bro? Come on. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh that made over. you better, huh? And y'all arresting me for getting thrown out of a window? I was thrown out of a window. What's the charge? Disturbing the peace? For getting thrown out of a window? What's the charge for getting thrown out of a moving car? Jaywalking? All right, ready. My girl wants to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. My girl likes to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. How was that, Rick? Real good, Douglas. Real good. Can't do it. I can't do no more sad songs. Can't do it. Get pop the pop, ba ba da ba do ba. Jimmy want more. Jimmy want more. Jimmy want. Jimmy want. Jimmy want more. Mm -hmm. Jimmy want a rib. Jimmy want a steak. Jimmy want a piece of your chocolate cake. Jimmy want more. Jimmy got soul. Jimmy got. Jimmy got. Jimmy got soul. Look at my baby Sherman. Oh, Hercules, Hercules, my baby Sherman. I'm so proud. So proud of my baby. I'm so proud. So proud. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. You ain't seen no Dr. Martin Luther King. I did, I did see Dr. Martin Luther King. 1965, Memphis, Tennessee. I was walking down the street, minding my business. And I was just walking, I'm just walking, and pop, he popped in my chest. Said, Ow, sorry. He said, Dr. King, Dr. King, why you doing? He said, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> Such a chocolate. Mm. You remember you used to want to go to McDonald's? And you'd be like, Mom, I want to go to McDonald's. She said, Mama, I can make you some McDonald's burgers. She said, Mom, you can. So Mama said, Grandma has me the green peppers and onions. She said, McDonald's ain't got no green peppers and onions in it. And she gave the burger and it looked like this. She said, Wait a minute. This got green peppers and onions. McDonald's don't make no green peppers and onion burger. And it's dripping all down your arm. And you're like, Ooh, that's not a McDonald's burger, mama. She said, boy, go eat that burger. And you say, yes, ma'am. So one day I get a call from Bill Cosby because he wants to tell me about my performance and how, how vulgar my language is. 
So he calls me on one day and was like, I would like to talk to you about the things that you sell on your show. No, my son comes and says, Dad, I need money for the Eddie Murphy ticket. So I give him money for the ticket. And he goes out and sees the show. He comes back and he has this look on his face that he's heard something he's never heard before. I said, son, what did the man say, son? He said, pop, he came out and said, don't type this thing. Suck it, bucket, bucket, this, this, and that. He said, oh. He said, you cannot say fifth form fifth. I'm like, man, I ain't seen no fifth form fifth. Well, you know what I'm talking about. I can't use the words that you're saying, but you cannot say fifth form fifth. He said, man, I ain't seen no fifth form fifth. My Lord, finna that you call. Gus, what is this? You come on my house every year, Gus, and you burn down my house, Gus. You burn down my house. We're not cooking Bonasaurus burgers, Gus. We're cooking Frank's and hot dogs, man. You got Charlie over there rolling with third degree burns. Stop burning down my house, Gus. And your wife, she can't walk a flight and to save her life. She's a Bigfoot. I know she's a Bigfoot, Gus. Because I took your kids fishing and I, they dipped their head in the water and they came up with fish and looked at each other and said, Goonie Goo Goo. I said, What? The? So I told my friend Sanchez, I thought it was some Spanish. I said, Hey, Goonie Goo Goo. He said, Man, get the heck out of here. Your wife's the Bigfoot, Gus. I'm telling you, your wife's the Bigfoot. I'm about to get in the hot tub. I'm about to get in the hot tub. It's too hot. It's too hot. I can't get in the hot tub. I said, I can't get in the hot tub. Smack around, kiss myself. Back See you does it bite? No, it is dead. Oh. If we're going to get married, we should get to know each other. Okay. What would you like to know? What type of music do you like? Whatever you like. No, you have to tell me. Do you like rap music? Do you like a little Drake? Kanye West? Kanye! Okay. Well, it's self to say you do not like Kanye West. I cannot say that I blame you. Now we are getting somewhere. What do you like to do for fun? Whatever you like. No. I know what I like to do. And I know that you know what I like to do. But I like to know what you like to do. For instance, do you have a favorite food? Yes. Good, what is it? Whatever you like. I command you to not obey me. I cannot disobey you, your highness. So you're telling me whatever I ask you to do, you will do? Yes. Okay, bark like a dog. Arf! Arf! A big dog. Woof! Woof! Okay, do the tootsie roll. Tootsie roll? Oh, you don't know how to do it? Mm. I will show you, come on. Come on. To the left. To the left. To the right. To the right. To the front. To the front. To the back. To the back. Now dip, baby dip. Dip? Yes. Now dip, baby dip. Like this? Yeah, exactly. Now, we're kind of forever. Oh. We're kind of forever. Yeah. We're kind of forever. Okay. We're kind of forever. We're kind of forever. Yeah. We're kind of forever. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Birthday, bro. It is my birthday. <laughs> it just wouldn't work out. We're too different. You're royalty, for Christ's sakes. You want me to renounce my throne? I will now renounce my throne. From this moment on, I am no longer the Prince of Samunda. Does that make you happy? I can't let you do that. I do not care about my crown. All I care about is you, Lisa. Marry me. I don't know, Akeem. Cut! That was great. But there's no kiss in this scene. Well, I feel like if it was me, I would kiss her to make her stay. Right. But this is Eddie Murphy's biopic, not yours, Fresh Prince. Now, there was no kiss in this scene back then. So let's just stick to the script. Unless I tell you otherwise, okay? All right, my bet. All right. That's a wrap on rehearsal. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Sorry about the kiss. It's cool. I knew where you were going with it. So, what's your story? What do you mean? Why are you obsessed with Eddie Murphy? <laughs> obsessed? That's a strong word. Who said that? People talk. And the word is, you want to be Eddie Murphy. Well, people need to stop talking. I'm not obsessed with Eddie Murphy. I'm not trying to be him. There can only be one Eddie Murphy. I've just admired him since his work since I was a kid. Look, 
Come to find out we're both are Aries. His birthday is the day before mine. He's the reason I became an actor and a comedian. So once again, I'm not obsessed with him. I'm just simply celebrating him for all the great things he's done in this business and for paving the way for people like me. Okay, well, it's no judgment. And if I offended you, I'm sorry. Well, you could have fooled me. Look, I just apologized. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> we good. Damn, really? You play too much. Hey, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Wanna go get some to eat? Sure. Yo, Ed, this is crazy. I can't believe we're on set about to do this movie. Thanks again for allowing me to be a part of this. I can't tell you how much this means to me, bro. Man, I ain't allowed you to be a part of this. You earned this. So stop thanking me, okay? Look, this is what we talked about. Making our own way and looking out for each other. And when the world sees the work you put in this film, you're gonna be a movie star. And this is gonna be a classic. No, right? Coming to America, and you know they gonna wanna make a part two, bro. Yeah, hey, you already know. Let's run these lines real quick. All right. Simi, why would you tell Patrice that I am your servant and you are the prince? Why do you think? You always get all the ladies and I wanted to see what the royal prince treatment was like. That is fair. I would play along with your game, but you make sure she keeps it to herself. And be careful, you better hope she's not a gold digger or she will take all of your money. Actually, she will be taking all your money. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but they're ready for you guys at set. Okay. Prince Simi and his faithful servant Akeem is on the way. How's that production now? Really? Hey, I'm just getting into character, brother. So how's filming going with the movie? Man, it's going real good. It's like a dream come true. As soon as I walk on set, it's like I transform into Eddie Murphy. Kind of like a weird out-of-body experience. Yeah, all right. I done told you about messing with them crazy girls. One of them probably put a voodoo spell on you or something. Out-of-body. Whatever. <laughs> well, you know how I like my women. Find one little bit of crazy. All right, but you saw what happened with Martin and the thin line between love and hate? Yeah, that was a little too crazy. Exactly. <laughs> and that one looking over right there. Kobe! Kobe! Kobe? Does this fool got a leash? Ain't got no dog. Excuse me. Have you seen a black toy poodle? No, I haven't. This, this never happens. I love that dog. Well, I hope you find your dog. All right. Oh, by the way, I'm Melvin. If you happen to find my dog, his name is Kobe. I need him to Kobe Bryant. Give me a call. <laughs> I figured that. Well, take care. All right, you too. Kobe, it's not funny. Kobe, where you at? Kobe! I won't be able to sleep until I know you found your dog. Here's my card. Okay. My name is Layla. All right, pleasure. Did you just use a line from Boomerang to get that woman's number? Yeah, and it worked, didn't it? Let me see that card. <laughs> it's funny. It looked like you just got played, my dude. Look, she said, you ain't Marcus Graham, and this ain't Boomerang, you lame. Signed, Leela Rashawn. <laughs> she got jokes. Congratulations. Told you, man. 